Now the other way you could do that if you don't want to do it sitting down is you do it standing up. So that's a bit of a more of an advanced level but what you can do when you're standing up is put it down low. So you need to have something that's not going to move. Okay, there's something like a, I've got a carabiner down in there. What you do is you put this behind your heel. Okay, and now what you're going to do, again you can hold on to something like this as you do a hamstring curl that way. This is a little bit more advanced. You've got to make sure your knees are together. You try and be upright as possible and it's straight up into there. Okay? Now this is a lot harder load. Okay? The band is a lot harder to pull this point but this teaches me also to try and stabilize through my hips. So I'm not doing any hip extension. I'm just doing pure knee flexion. Okay? I'm not moving my knee I'm, as in forward or back. I'm just trying to bend at it and I have to work really hard through here. Again, a lot harder than this one, so start with the sitting one and if you can find that's too easy, you can progress to the standing one, which is a little bit more functional when you're doing things like running and sport. Okay, all right, for the third one I want you to show you today as part of this 12-week rehab program is doing a four-point hip extension but doing it banded. Now I showed a video a long, long time ago with an ACL um, patient who is doing that for hip extension to try and get the activation. This is when you are now at the point where you need to do some strengthening. But the same rules apply for making sure you don't go into hip extension. I'll show you what I mean. So four point, meaning hands and knees. Again, around the back of the heel. Now I've got two bands on here. You could easily just go to one band that's thicker, okay, or you can have two bands, depending on how good your hamstrings are. Now I have this in the opposite hand, okay, so opposite hand, opposite leg, all right. Now this point here, if I can look in the mirror, I can see what my lower back's doing. So I don't have to have, you know, I don't want it fully extended, I don't want it round up, I want it neutral. So I can just have a look at that, get my core, my neutral spine, I should say, in the right position, then turn on my core here to keep it there. And I can watch what I'm doing and making sure that when I move my knee and my hip, my back does not move, all right? So it's not about how many repetitions you can crank out, it's how well you can control this and do that. Now if you watch me, I'll get to the point, if I go up here and I go any further, I'll start arching my back, okay? And you don't want to do that. So you have to only move in the position which you control and make sure you don't go and extend your leg. There's no point doing quadricep work when you're doing a hamstring one. So it's hip extension, posterior chain, and you'll find it doubles as the core exercise because we do have this in the core program. You've got to try and keep your core on when you're hip extending. Now, imagine really important ability to do when you are running. So when you're sprinting along, you don't want your back going into extension. Every time you push back, and use your glute and your hamstrings to sprint, you don't want your back arching. Okay, so this is actually going to teach you a bit of core stability, which is going to help your knee. Okay, so the more core you get, the more glutes, more hamstrings, the better your knee rehab is going to be. So don't miss this one from your program. Seems like a silly little exercise, but it's so important for that control between here, your core, and then working that posterior chain on one leg, especially when you're working on things like running and sprinting and sport, where the load is not necessarily heavy like in a gym when you're doing weights, but you have to do repetitive movements and you have to try and keep a stable base. So there's the first three for this last remainder. We'll do another couple tomorrow.